So the Quest Pro, a divisive little headset that some love, some hate, me? I kind of like it. What I don't like is the price, and I don't like the fact that this thing kills my forehead. Luckily, some things are starting to hit the market for the Quest Pro headset, you know, some aftermarket accessories that really help to make this thing a better experience, more comfortable, more enjoyable to use for a long period of time. What I think is probably the biggest issue, my biggest complaint about the Quest Pro, which really for a $1,500 headset, I wish I didn't have any complaints, but unfortunately I do. And that is the forehead discomfort. Obviously, I've complained about that from day one. After using the headset for about 30 to 45 minutes, I get some pretty bad forehead discomfort. It leaves a red mark on my forehead. Head. I just can't stand that. So that was one of the things I set out to fix first. It took a little while to find a couple products that really did help that. Let's dive into those. One of the first ones that I found, and it's actually a very simple fix, is this little head strap. And this is from Tyco Tech. There are a bunch of different options when it comes to these. This is a really simple one that I bought. It works really well. It is a 3D printed part, essentially with Velcro. To stick this thing on, you just take this part here, and you stick it towards the back of the headset, and then you just slide it over the fatter part. Slide that up, and as you can see, there are little holes in the bottom of this. There's little holes for the speaker, so that way the sound can still pass through. Uh, you can position it right over the speakers, or you can kind of position it whatever you find fit, and it's stuck to my thing. So there are tons of options out there for this kind of head strap. This is the one that I've used and I really like, like I said, from Tyco Tech. Real simple thing, but it just kind of helps to distribute some of the weight onto the top of your head, instead of all the weight being on your forehead, and then it's, it's just a weird headset, I don't know, but this really makes a pretty big difference. Next thing for that forehead pressure is the actual piece that goes on your forehead that comes with the Quest Pro. So this is the one that comes with it and it's kind of like a, a rubberized, you know, not real thick, not real padded piece that sits on your forehead. And this thing is just garbage. What I found is, uh, what is the brand of this thing? It's VR Master. So this is an Amazon product that actually sits up on there. And this one is actually taller. So it sits up a little bit higher on your forehead, gives you more coverage. And it's a very nice, you know, foamy, memory foam kind of material. As you can see, it just sits up a little bit higher. And this thing makes a ton of difference. So between that top Velcro strap and that forehead pad, that has really helped a lot of the, the pressure that it puts on my forehead. I can stay in the headset a little bit longer. It's just made the headset like a whole new headset for me. So another issue you're gonna run into with your Quest Pro is battery life. I mean, the factory battery life is probably right about two hours. That's really dependent on what you're doing with the headset. And for me, sometimes that's just not long enough. You want more battery life. So there's a couple of options. And one of them that I actually kind of like is <laughs> this. AMVR neck battery. So this actually goes around your neck. It kind of has like a rubbery soft texture that goes on onto your neck. Uh, one thing I like about this, this thing is 8,000 milliamps. So it's gonna give you quite a bit more play time and you're not adding any weight to your headset. So another option that you can do is the Bobo VR, you know, the dock that goes on the back of the headset. You can put this on the back and the thing I love about this is hot swappable but you are adding weight to your headset and you're making it heavier and you're throwing off some of the balance of the Quest Pro headset. One of the things that actually surprised me about using the Quest Pro is, you know, this open design. So it's not like a full VR headset. It's more kind of like an AR headset where, you know, you can put it on and you can still see the peripherals around you. And I actually don't mind playing that much that way. I actually have gotten kind of used to playing and I don't notice the openness around me or being able to see out of the headset. It actually almost tricks me into thinking I have a bigger field of view. It's really weird, but if you are if you really wanna close it off and make it a VR headset, you know, there are some options to make it so you have like a face gasket. It closes it off more. That way, you know, you don't see the world around you. You just see what's in VR and it just blacks out the area in your peripheral vision. Uh, this is the official light blocker, I think they call it. This is the official light blocker from Meta. Pro a couple problems with this thing. This thing is $50. So for this stupid little silicone thing, this is 50 bucks, which is just, I feel like anything they make for the Quest Pro, they just feel they can charge an arm and a leg for, whatever, it's kind of stupid. But it does work pretty good. It blocks the light well, it, I like it. I don't like the price and I don't like the fact that you can't stick it on the regular charger because this thing goes on a charger and it makes those contacts there. You can't stick it on the charge dock with this on there. So every time you wanna charge a headset, you gotta take this off, stick it on there. Not a big deal, it's magnetic, it pops on there super easy, but 
For 50 bucks, I mean, at least let me put it on the charger, right? These are actually Mr. Tast 3D printed light blockers that essentially they just go on the lenses. So they just kind of pop on the lenses, as you can see here. Uh, and those are gonna block the light. You do feel them touch your face a little bit, but they're a real flexible material and they're, they're pretty comfortable. Uh, this, if you're using these, you can still use the factory charger. They don't interfere with the, the little charging connections or anything there. You just pop it on there. So these are a really good option if you don't want to spend the $50 on the official one and you still want to be able to easily use your Quest Pro charger. So I've been using VR for a long time, playing a lot of VR games throughout the years. And one thing that I really like is the controller grip. So I have these on pretty much every headset that I use. These are for the Quest Pro. These are the Mojo XR controller grips. These are ones that so far I think I've liked the best. These are my favorite ones so far. One of the things I really like about it is it has a nice, you know, soft leather strap on this side. And there's a cutout right here. That way you can still charge your Quest Pro controllers on the charging dock. The first ones I tried were the Desk Tech ones, and I really liked them. They, they worked really well. The only problem was every time I had to charge them, I actually had to roll down the silicone cover. That way it would go on the charger and you can charge the controller. So these ones work pretty well. The only thing with them having that cut out there is that every once in a while, the camera, you know, you have cameras on these controllers, and every once in a while, those would actually start to cover up the camera just a little bit. So I would have to keep an eye on that just to make sure they don't move too much. But every once in a while, I think it was like one time when I put the Quest Pro on and the one controller wouldn't track at all. And I was like, what is going on? This thing actually moved over a little bit to cover up the camera slightly. Uh, that's the only time I've really had that issue. So if you use these, just keep an eye on it. But it's nice to not have to roll that back to charge them every time. I've tried a couple different ones. Like I said, I tried the Desk Tech ones first. I've also tried the Hello Real controller grips, which work pretty well. The only thing I didn't really like about these was the fact that it went over top of the buttons. And sometimes those could, those could kind of move around. Whereas these ones that I have on there now, the, the whole face is actually open on the controller. So the silicone doesn't go over the face of the controller or around the buttons at all. So I like that design a little bit better. Uh, so far, those are the best ones that I've used and I really like them, but there are tons and tons of options out there. If you're gonna go for one separate from that, I recommend ones that don't go over the buttons and also gives you a cutout to be able to charge your controllers easily. So those are the products really that I've, I've found that I really enjoy using with the Quest Pro. They've really made the headset more enjoyable to play with, to use. Uh, it just solved a lot of the problems that I have with the Quest Pro, which I really do like the headset. Other than, like I said, the price and the issues that I've had, those are mostly solved. One thing I still don't really love is the factory charger that comes with the Quest Pro. I just find it cumbersome and kind of a pain in the butt. It's not my favorite thing to use. I think it is a poorly designed charger and hopefully somebody will come out with a better charger for the controllers and the headset. I like the fact that I can just set them down and charge them, but they're just, it's just cumbersome. It's just not easily done for me. When I set them down, it, it takes me a minute to make sure that the controllers are charging and the headset's charging. It's just poorly designed. So hopefully somebody comes out with something better for that. If there's other products that you have found for the Quest Pro that really you've enjoyed and helped you out, let me know because I just love accessories. I love trying them all out. So, you know, I've been loving using the Quest Pro. It is a great simming headset. You know, I've played some Microsoft Flight Simulator and stuff in it lately. It's a great PC VR headset as well for, for sim racing. It's, you know, beautiful graphics, great lenses. I really enjoy the headset. So I'm glad that I found ways to make it better and more comfortable for me and ways that I can use it longer. So like I said, let me know what you guys find. All of the links for all the stuff we talked about is gonna be in the description. And that's it guys, we'll see you in the next one.